My name is David Lopez. I'm 30 years old. I am the husband to a beautiful wife, Tori, and the father to a bouncing baby boy, Daniel. So I grew up here in Kent. Most of my my young life it was spent, you know, trying to be like my dad. That was a that was a big thing. My dad played football at Oregon State University, so that was a that was a huge huge factor in my life. I thought he was the coolest and I wanted to be just like him. So naturally I followed in his footsteps and started playing football and uh, wrestling was another choice as a young kid. You know, got on varsity as a freshman and then, you know, that be, that was that was who I was. I was like David, the football player. It was very important to me as a kid and it's a, it's a good thing. It's a good pursuit, but I think it can it really became an idol. I don't think there was ever a time that I can think of when I didn't know who Christ, who Christ was. I didn't know about Christ. And so early on, I was like, I want to accept him. You know, whenever you're at church and they're like, they do a Jesus call or something like Kevin does. I was raising my hand and going up, trying to, you know, get right with God. And so that that lasted for so long to where I like as a young you know a young man I just was like it's not working so I'm just gonna give in and just sin so I, I started like searching for answers basically the major event that like really really rocked me was when my dad was shot and killed by my aunt's boyfriend who my dad was he was a he was a, a preacher, an evangelist. Someone who was very, very zealous for God. So it it really, it made me more serious. And I, I remember after his funeral, it was like I felt that God was telling me that I needed to get serious about my, my like like this whole search for him. It was like the, the time of like playing around with this is over. So now it's, you know, it became just seeking his will for my life, you know, and every, every day I spend, I spend time with my family, church, you know, small groups, things like that. Those are where I spend my time serving here. Me and Tori doing the young adults, things like that. We started realizing it's not about like the whole relationship with Christ. It's not just about us. It's about others. It's about bringing glory to God. Back in 2010, before this is before I went to Montana, school and I had a I had a bout with cancer I developed like this limp and the, and then it turned it turned into like really incredible back pain so I ended up in the hospital ER and stuff and then it turns turns out that I have cancer in my inside my sacrum which is right inside your hip so that turns into a year-long bout with cancer which you know after a year I was cancer free Seven years later, I'm starting to have these problems with my lungs, right? I'm starting to to breathe, breathe worse. And I'm starting to have like this pain in my lungs. I didn't know that I had cancer, but I had a feeling that it was coming back. I ended up being like breaking down finally and being like, I'm gonna have to go see the doctor. I literally got the scan. They called me like right after. Can you come up and look at this? Your whole left lung is full of tumors and just a little part of the right by your heart. You know, I'm thinking about, I mean, I want to be here for the, you know, the birth of my son and as long as I can. I started, I started doing chemo and I've been doing it for six months now. And I was really trying to, fi- trying to figure out like, what's, what's, what's the plan? Like, why do I have to deal with this? You know, the kind of the questions that's you could quantify it as like you could say it's unfair but i mean life life is life in the fallen world we live in that's how things happen things aren't fair it's not fair that my you know my dad got shot and he's not here to see his grandson you know so 